And she, he said, you better do it or I'm going to stab you. Oh, my God. Did you see all this? Yep. Okay, this is Detective Kurt Necker. It is April 7th, 2011. I have 14, 20 hours. I'm in the interview room at the Finley Police Department Detective Division uh, with Jamie Cooper. And she's going to make a call that is going to be recorded. The call is going to be made to Sherry Brooks. So stand by for that. Look you here. Tell her with this one. What color is that? Hey, Shannon, is Sherry there? Um, this is Jamie. Yeah, she's on the computer. Well, tell her to get off that computer. I told her not to be on it anyway. She don't need to read that stuff. She don't want to see me. Ask her if I can talk to her for a second. Okay, hold on. I told you to stay off of that dink on the computer. My letter told me to get all the comments that people were saying about the Brookses and what they're all saying about getting justice for my cousin Danny. And I uh, guess he once said, uh, he wants to, uh, he said he's going to um, do something about it because it's not right that people are putting us down when it wasn't us that did it. Yeah, I agree. Um, He's going to make a big write-up in the newspaper about it because people are threatening our lives. Amy Hunt came past with a whole bunch of purple ribbons down our side of the road and put purple ribbons on it and pointed at our car and kicked our car and then going around the corner and uh, started flipping us off and now we have a red van going past calling us all fucking murderers and stuff. Well, I told you last night, I am hanging the purple ribbons. I didn't go right. down your street, but I am, I told you for Vera, I am hanging up purple ribbons. Right. But to harass you doing it, that's wrong. You know. But, you know, people's going to talk. They're going to do what they're going to do. Just like somebody told me today, did you notice all... Well, I think I told you that last night when I talked to you, that how you changed all those dolls out of the window because it was in the news. Yeah. What's Chucky doing? Chucky. Huh? What's Chucky doing? Chucky. He should be picked up here a little bit from school. Is he handling everything okay? I'm kind of worried. I'm kind of worried about him. He's so young, you know. I know. They're not picking on him at school or anything, are they? Some people are. Oh. And Mr. Otherwell just tells him, we, you know, Chucky, ignore him. I told Shannon last night, I'm going to tell you, um, that event for Johnny and I's wedding, 
please do not respond to it because all we do is get harassment on that. But that does not mean you're not welcome to come. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I told you not to read the Facebook. Hey, you told me last night that they made Shannon hit her with a belt. I'm, yep. hear, I'm hearing rumors today that they had a lock or something on it, and it was all metal that was hitting her with the belt. Yeah, it was. It was a padlock. They had a padlock on the end of the belt? Mm -hmm. That's not true about the toilet thing and the toothbrush, is it? Yeah. It is true? Somebody yep. said they took a toilet pr plunger up her butt. Yep. Oh, my God. Sherry. See, I'm very hearsay, and I just keep saying I don't believe any of it, you know, until, it, you know, I so much gossip's going around, and I don't want to, you know, hear the gossip. But just like they're sh saying Shannon's the one that said that she was going to die because she had that miscarriage. And I said, that, you know, Shannon's not going to do that. You hear my granddaughter. She's sitting here coloring. I'm driving down the road and I gave her a coloring book and crayons and she's... I was thinking about yeah. stopping by later, but I don't know. I've got my grandkids today. Um, all I know is they all talked about it upstairs and I don't all know what happened because I can't get upstairs. Well, yeah. I know. I know. But somebody said that Danny took her head and bounced it off of a kitchen table or something. And I'm like, this kid, it must be. Sad. I know he's your cousin. I'm sorry. But Vera was your cousin, too. So I know. I know you're stuck in the middle. I feel so bad for you. I don't know. I just wish I knew what to do to give you some sympathy. I just wanted to make sure all those rumors that are going around that my cousin Shannon wasn't involved. You know, I, I love you guys to death, and it's just, this has made me really sick. It really has, because I can't believe somebody would do what Danny had done. But I heard his girlfriend was the one that was the instigator to it all. No, Danny and uh, Nicole both did it. Something about, I don't know, something about how she would look at him or something. Maybe we would look at Danny or something. Yeah, I said that Vera was looking at Danny. Well, you know handicapped, slower people. They tend to stare anyway. And she said, what do you want, my boyfriend now, bitch? And boom. Started hitting her, slapping her, punching her, and then took her fucking head and ramming it into my dresser. And it's like, oh, my God. Took her head and, and rammed it in your dresser. Yeah, and then she kept telling uh, Shannon, she said, why don't you stick up for your man? She said, uh, she's been looking at Michael, too, so... Um, why don't you hit her too and, um, and I'll uh, protect your man and Shannon said, I can't do that, I'm not a fighter. And she, he said, you better do it, bitch, or I'm going to stab you. Oh my God. Did you see all of this? Yep. Yeah. So there, oh, so, uh, Sherry, I'm so kept, sorry. Shannon kept hitting on her and stuff because her man. Um, Nicole said, give me the belt again. I want to do it. Honey, Grandma can't like, tell her. She's driving. Then she kept hitting her in her head and was like, oh, my God. And Shannon just sat well, beside me shaking. My my thing is, is that's going across Facebook, and I'm sure you've read them, and I delete them, but last night I got to thinking, and I started reading some of that, and some of it's cruel, and I cannot believe what was on there. Did you know people saying on there, I think it was, I'm not going to mention no names, but you probably have seen it yourself, but they said how that she was made to eat dog poop and everything. Yeah, she did. She did? See, yep. I can't believe this, and they actually made her do all this. Yep. Aww. I don't. Made her drink her, uh, made her chip and everything. Made her drink her own urine? Who made her do this? No, no, they drank. She made. They made her drink. Um. Danny? They made her drink. Yeah. Who made her do it? Nicole and Danny. Nicole and Danny. Uh huh. 
How is Shannon doing since she had the miscarriage? She's doing okay. You know what? This other stuff's probably more stressful for her than losing a baby. She can have another baby. Yeah. How are you guys holding up? Have you guys got visitation set up to see uh, Willa Dean yet? Well, she's actually got to do 30 days in jail. And well, Zach's, that happens then. Zach said um, he had to turn himself in April 1st for the receiving stolen yeah, property, and, didn't he? Yeah, and they didn't have him. They didn't have no room for him, so just mon Monday he went. But Aaron's going to uh, get him out because people are messing with him up there. And Rudy, Rudy Sanchez is taking his food and won't let him eat and stuff like that. And uh, so they're going to uh, see if they can get Zachary out on an early uh, release thing and then try to get this way. Then we can help Zachary get visitations for the baby because they already sent us our paper that if Zachary, if Zachary don't get the baby, can I take her in? Was you on um, um, Was you on Facebook last night? Was I? Yeah. Did you see yeah. those comments where these people were saying Zachary was hitting her because he was upset at her and it was Zachary that was doing it because she threatened to take the baby? No, I didn't read that. Yeah, they said that Zachary was the one hitting on her because she was threatening to leave with the baby because she was getting hit on by Zachary. Yeah, it was all over Facebook. That's not true, is it? No. No. Yeah, I'm so glad. Yeah, I was so glad that she would just save the baby to Zachary if he wanted her. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what they were plastering all over Facebook last night. That everybody was saying. Well, what I read was that Zachary was hitting on Vera because he was upset at her or something about. She was wouldn't give something about the baby, or he was jealous because he, she had another boyfriend or something. I don't remember all the stuff that was said. There were so many different stories. I'm trying to think of whose Facebook page that was on. I want to say Carol Stahl, but I'm not sure. Who's Carol Stahl? Carol Stahl's wife? Oh God, my ex stepmom. Oh, your ex stepmom. Yeah. Is that who that is? Yeah. That's right. She used to be married to Chuck, didn't she? Yep. It's I don't know who the Sunny Daisy is. Who? Sunny Daisy. Sunny Daisy, T A V A N. Going down Center Street today after getting my coffee, I noticed. I noticed that a purple ribbon right across the street from where she left, lived. Keep this well, coming. I told you, you know what, I'm going to go there today, and that's the reason I called mainly, is I want to know if it was still okay if I come over and hang purple ribbons around your house. That was your cousin, too. That was the main reason I called. Do you mind if I come and hang those purple ribbons? You can do that. Well, I know a lot of people will probably come and tear them down and everything, but if they do, you know, we'll just hang more up. And then it gets pissed me off because someone said, um, there's, oh, that was, oh, 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 so pretty. I got a picture of it. And the workers down there are complaining about it. Well, someone said, oh, it must have been Kevin Senior Brooks that, uh, that done this because, uh, um, somebody took Vera's Morello down. And, so, you know uh, what? They burned it and threw it in the Blanchard River. What I heard is the so, cause of the concert was just nothing but trash. What I heard, and it's probably hearsay, but I think it sounds like the more logical explanation. Yes, it was burnt. But somebody said there was a candle sitting there that was left lit, and that's caught it on fire. So nobody burned it. You know, because something like that happened, they're going to automatically say the Brooks did it. So yep. just keep your head high. There was candles there. I talked to the police department myself, and they said the reason nothing was done is it looked like a candle might have been lit. And, you know, no, nobody was seen doing it. So logically, when they did that candlelight vigil, they left a candle burn, and it caught something on fire. But yeah, Ashley says, oh, I've seen, I've seen uh, Kevin come down here. 
and he was burning everything. Now, but who was in the uh, river? I don't know. Sarah, you just got to stay off Facebook. Everybody's going to talk, and everybody's going to do the, you know, say what they got to say. Um, I told you last night, the only thing I can't understand is why nobody called the police when it was going on. I know you took your medicine and went to bed, but, um, you know, you told me what they threatened, and... So I got my answer on that one. All you have to do is stay off of Facebook because it's just going to drive you in the hospital. I know. Your sugar's messed up. Your feet's bad. One thing I want to do is copy everything that people say and send it to Aaron like you told me to do. Send it to me. I want to see. Well, you're on my Facebook friends, so I probably should be able to see it. Because you're my friend on Facebook. I'll go home and read it. And boy, I might have some things I want to say. Why? Now, I'll give you a call later. Tell Shannon to call me later. I'm about ready to pull in the house. I gotta get this little granddaughter shit of mine out and get her lunch. Okay. She doesn't have. She got her lunch, but she wouldn't eat it, so it's still sitting in my car. And I'm gonna see if she'll eat the rest of that. Tell Sherry, bye, Sherry. Bye, Sherry. Later. Say happy birthday to me. Happy birthday! No, it's not really her birthday. She just always says that, and she'll look at me. And oh, say, it's not my birthday, Grandma. You're stupid. <laughs> well, I'll talk to you later, Sherry. Just all right. Keep your ass off that computer. Do you understand me? Yeah. Well, I know I'm you're... just gonna go on and do what Aaron told me to do. Well, I know you're not gonna listen anyway. You don't listen to anybody. That's my Sherry. I get on a lot of times, and I just read what it says, but I try not. I tried to fight it, not to comment, but they got this bullshit on it. I was not even involved. I was in foster care, okay? And the thing about that uh, on there, they said, yeah, the bitch was known to be killed. Um, I'm surprised it's, um, that they're getting away with it because one of the mothers come on. Okay, when I did my interview, I did not know that one of the mothers had a, um, had a Facebook about it, but I said, yeah, I... I remember uh, knowing about the big things because when I met my family, biological family, I said my one uncle, jo um, uncle George Bixler, killed a, a little boy named uh, Timmy Trapp. Uh, might have been that name, Timmy. Is it the one that was cut up down at the Blanchard River? No, oh. it happened in Pastoria. Oh, it happened in Pastoria. Yeah, so and they're uh, blaming you because you already got an uncle in prison for. His name was Tommy. Tommy. And uh, Tommy shared him and said that um, he had killed him and uh, and he took the penis and mailed it to the mother. And then he did the sister, but she's still alive to, the, to this day. She's old now, but she's. All right, well, I'm yeah. coming. My granddaughter says, Grandma, we're sitting here. I'm hungry. Aww. Here, I'll let her tell you goodbye. But I will call you back later. I've got to get her in the house. But they all got it down there where they're all bitching about. Oh, the Bixers are fighting money because she's related to the George Bixers. She's also related to Danny Humble that uh, killed my son. Well, so what? Uh, and then into the Bowling Green uh, trash can. I'm like, oh, my God. I was not around when that happened. I was young. And I was young myself, and I was in foster homes. And I can't help that my family's doing this shit. I know. I know. In the end, it'll all, all, the truth will come out in the end. I have faith. We have the best police department, I think, around. So the truth will come out, and then everybody can look back, and then they can sit back and apologize to you then. Yep. Yeah. Just, and then people... It seems like people know everything that's going on around my house. Yeah, because people knew something. before. If you remember right, Vera, or Vera, listen to me. If you remember right, Sherry, Johnny and I heard all this story before it was on the news, before it was in the paper. We stopped by your house, and I asked you guys straight out, is this true or is this a lie? How people knew that quick. It came from... Friends of friends all knew everything that was going on before it was even in the news. Yeah, that's what I wanted to know. So I want to know How who was planning about it happening. 
I want to know who, uh, how did they know that Vera was caught on the, road, on the railroad tracks dead before anybody else knew? Yeah. Like, what the hell? It's going to come out. It's going to come out. And I don't think any of the Brooks had anything to do with it. We'll know. Danny's, Danny's already pleaded guilty, didn't he? Yeah, he admitted to it. He admitted to it, so there it is. He was indicted yesterday, and so was uh, Nicole. They finally brought Nicole's name out. I seen that in the paper, that they're going to try her as an adult. They should. Yep. She was doing adult things, they should. You know? Danny admitted to... Um, you, you said they made her drink their urine. They did that with the toothbrush. They made her eat dog poop. You know, they, they should. did a lot of stuff. They did the a lot of stuff. The detective uh, Tuttle told me last night when he was here talking to me, um, he wanted to find out some more stuff. Uh -huh. And I sat there and I told him, I mean, this time, as I'm between tears and everything, I told him, and he said, Sherry, he said, I know this is your cousin. He says, and Vera was your cousin too, he says, but... The way their body was found, he said her butt was just so, so tore up. He said, do you know what yellow pole they used on her? He says, because Danny and them admitted that they put a pole up inside her and, and no, fucked her with the stick and everything. Oh, my God. He said that she was so opened up. And you said it was Detective Tuttle that told you that? Yeah, because that's who talks to me, what and then is? my interviews. I don't know any detectives, so I don't know who that is, but... Was that, that a cuddle? Yeah, was that at your house, or was it where they murdered her at? Uh, Gary didn't go into details, I guess, for the way he said that he... They wanted to know if it happened here at my house. I said, if it did, it happened in the bathroom, and I don't know nothing about that. Well, the only thing I heard was it looked like they took a toilet plunger handle or a broom handle or something. Up or, that's probably the pole they're talking about. Was Yeah. In the bathroom? That could have been. But they did I hope you threw that toilet plunger away. Do you... It, Oh, they want me to keep, uh, they took yeah, it from keep, us. No, you keep everything there because they, if this detective Tuttle's any good, he'll want all that stuff. Uh, he took that, he took the padlock, he took the belt. He took the padlock belt and the toilet plunger. What about the toothbrush? That I couldn't find because we didn't know what toothbrush she was using. And that's sad. And we don't know if they put it in her purse or what, but they took Vera's purse. They took the bloody clothes up out of here that, the, that Danny and her wore that night after they took pictures and everything of it. Yeah. And they said, don't touch nothing else, they says, because we may come back and take more pictures. Well, hon, my granddaughter oh, wants my to get God. out of the car. We're sitting here All in the right. car, so call me later or give me a call tomorrow. All righty. I hear her back there. Yeah, <laughs> she wants out of the car. All right, I'll talk to you later. Alrighty. Tell Shannon I love her and I'll talk to her later. Alright, later. <laughs> Alright, bye bye. I'm gonna do it when we're at my grandma's house.